Hello Françoise, hello everyone. Françoise, many people who have many diseases believe that just changing their diet can improve their health. Do there exist any exclusive benefits to the practice of prolonged fasting? Hello Lisa, thank you for the question. Hello everybody. This is easy to, under uh, to understand and to answer. Uh, if you follow the um, advice of the journalist Michael Pollan and you eat food, not eatable products from the industry, but food, not too much, mostly plants, and all that is organic and home prepared, of course you can be very healthy with that. Uh, but who does it all the time? Who is never having a bad meal or a good, too good meal? or too much calories if you are in a holiday, if you are invited, or if you are just lazy to cook. So there is always deviations. A healthy um, eating all the time is not very realistic to take. Um, and on the other hand, even if you have a constantly healthy eating, there are some effects of fasting you cannot have with healthy food. So healthy food should be your everyday life and then in the evening when it's dark, when you sleep, you should fast. And once or twice a year when um, seasonal fasting of 5 to 20 days according to your age and nutritional status is an excellent complement. What do you have that you don't have just with the healthy eating? First, you have an interruption of all eating patterns and most of the time even of all life patterns. Because if you fast long time, you go to a special facility, you are taken in guidance, you have a new community, you will experience totally new things that you're not going to experience with fasting. You will experience the metabolic switch, the genetic switch, who brings you in the protected mode of the fasting. That a person I've never fasted for more than some hours will never know. So you need three days to really feel well in that new protected mode of the fasting. And at the same time, you reset your metabolism, normalize your weight, uh, your um, blood pressure, your glucose and lipid uh, metabolism, you diminish the tendency to inflammation, you reduce the oxidative stress, and you have um, cell regeneration on food reintroduction. So the effects of fasting that you don't have with food are this one, but at the same time, if you go at, and you fast according to a traditional program, um, then you have also the other dimension as the physical dimensions. You have um, the group, the communitarian dimension, which is a very special way of meeting people and sharing an experience having a great tolerance, or, um, sort of serenity and uh, possibility to enter into dialogue with the other people. And then you have a sort of a possibility to go inside of yourself, look at your life and, and make a sort of balance, what you want to keep, what you want to change um, and get a new inspiration for your life. And this is something absolutely unique in the fasting. Uh, in our clinics that exist since 1953, the Buchinger Wilhelmi Clinics in Überlingen and Marbella, we have 6,000 persons a year who make long-term fasting with a period of food reintroduction afterwards. We are four generations after the founder, Dr. Otto Buchinger, who just uh, fine-tuned this program. And I think um, it is an extraordinary inter interruption. Many people come every year or every two years, so you make a sort of a lifestyle with a regular fasting every year. So I hope that you were inspired by this answer and you will maybe have the opportunity to try once yourself. I wish that for you. All the best and see you soon.